Great here, and it's back to World of Warships. Today, it is the Scharnhorst on the <clears throat> map. I really need to look up these maps uh, before I record these. This is, I think, my favorite ship in the game. Yes, it's premium, I but I love it. It's it's the Tier 7 premium German battleship. It's the sister ship to the Neissenau. The difference between the two being that the Scharnhorst has the smaller uh, guns with three guns per turret, whereas the Neissenau has the larger caliber with two guns per turret. I don't have the exact calibers memorized, I'm sorry. Uh, the end result is that the, the Scharnhorst does less damage per shot, but it has more shots per broadside, and uh, it reloads a bit faster. I think it's uh, 20 seconds on the reload versus uh, 28 on the Neissenau. I think that's about it. And the play just makes it so much better. I call this the the best German destroyer that there is. <laughs> because I I play it I I don't know, I just I just have fun with it. Anyway, on this map, normally with uh the, the sea point being enclosed the way that it is, you don't want to go over there with a battleship. And at the beginning of the round we did have one of our uh, one of our cruisers say that they were going to look at sea but not really go in there. However, each side only has one destroyer. Our destroyer spawned over at A, so I was pretty sure that their destroyer spawned on A as well. That means that if I get in here and I, I, I can bull, uh, bully anything that comes to C. And in, in fact, we spot a Graf Spey coming over to contest C. The reason that I can bully anything is number one I'm a German battleship I've got torpedoes I have secondary guns that go out to 7.4 kilometers anything that enters that circle with me is going to hurt here I'm just lining up a quick shot on that Alba I don't think I actually hit so on top of that I've been really focusing on the yeah complete miss focusing on the German BB captain um, he's going to be my first 19 point captain so I can start earning elite experience. He's actually got 18 points in this round, which means he's one point away from his final three point skill, I think it is, or two point skill, one of the two. So he's an absolute monster. He has the, the manual targeting of secondaries. He's got the extended range on, range on the secondaries. He's got uh, so he's got better accuracy for his secondaries. He's got better range for his secondaries. He's got better reload for his secondaries. I've got all of the flags, the signal flags, all secondaries. I, I, I brawl with this ship. So coming over here to bully any cruiser that's uh, brave enough to, to take C, I'll, I'll take those odds. So that is the Graf Spey that came over. He's nestled into that little uh, cove. And the Atlanta, who is just going to come over and spot, he stops and resets the cap with a volley of fire. Now, I know the Graf Spey has got torpedoes. He knew what my, what my course was, so I'm actually going to start turning in here. But at, what is that, five kilometers? Yeah. I'll, I'll take a torpedo hit because I'm just going to wreck him. That That's his one chance to survive. He doesn't have any more tor uh, torpedoes. There go my secondaries. And with the 20 second reload on my primary, I just aim for the waterline and cut loose. There's 9.4 thousand damage. I'm checking my, my torpedoes, but he's already moving forward too much. The ships behind me are pouring fire into him, but look at my secondaries. 24 hits, 25, 28, there's a fire. I'm pushing up to 30. I'm about to hit him with another volley of the main guns, and there he's dead. And this is exactly why I came over here. Like I said, normally, battleships do not come over here. It is stupid. The The torpedo spam over here is, is insane. But under the right circumstances, you can push and push hard. So now we've completely cleared C. There's nothing else over here. So I thought about going through the narrow straits, but I decided against it. I'm going too fast. My turning circle's too big. I'm hoping that the cruisers behind me will take that route. And I'll just swing around the far side and corral them in. 
So that's not a bad start to the round. We've got three of their ships already for just one of ours. Uh, somehow they captured A, but we're retaking it. They're taking B, as no one went to contest that. The only downside is the aircraft carrier up north. If you watch what he does, he kind of waffles and gets caught out later on. And, of course, he blames us for this incredible push because we didn't protect him. Instead of him advancing with us, moving over with Group on A, look at that, he's, he's out there by himself. But look at this grouping in B. It would be insane for us to actually go in on this grouping. So here I'm lining up a shot on the... Well, well I'm looking for a shot. I think I'm eventually going to settle on, on the Nagato. Unfortunately, he's going to get around the headland. So shots out. And... Eh, about 6,000 damage. Not bad. Especially for these guns. There's another Nagato. Uh, he's pretty well angled, but I think he's the only thing I can take shots at. With a 20 second reload, unless you know that you're going to get the broadside of a ship within the next couple of seconds, it's not worth holding your, holding your fire. So I take a solid hit from him there. He, he got the better of, of that volley. But now he's turning broadside on because he's got... Well, I'm not sure why he's turning broadside on. Notice up north, our aircraft carrier decided to turn around away from the direction that all of us are traveling. I don't know. So there's more shots on that Nagato. Two and a half thousand damage. Eh. Although I'm closing into the magical 7.4 kilometer range. I was thinking of edging up there, but then I realized I've got the, the Alba up there, I've got that Nagato, I've got the Furutaka over to the side, the New York pops up. I realize I need to turn away, or else I'm putting myself in a really bad spot. So I fire the torpedoes on the track for the New York as I'm turning. I waited for the Nagato to fire, and now I'm turning, hoping that I beat his reload. I don't think I'm going to... Yeah, I didn't beat the New York's reload, at least not on those two turrets. But I started putting fire in on him. And I haven't switched my secondaries to him yet. There. There, I finally switched them over. <laughs> Look at that again. Two, uh, two shots hit, a fire already set. He dodges my torps. And I don't think I get him. I'm slowing down here, waiting for him to come around, but I think he's slowing down as well. So... This is where I hold the reload. I should have fired at the Nagato or the Alba, but I was just waffling. Let's see. Is he going to come around? No, I think I finally take this shot. Yeah, that's too, too good of a broadside to pass up. So I take the shot at the Nagato. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yeah, and my my fellow greens take out that, that Texas. So I go back to full speed. Still firing at this Nagato, and I wish I'd put him down. You'll see why later on. But yeah, he's he's not going full speed, so I lead wrong. And about here is when I figure that's a nice solid 6.5k. But th that island's going to get in the way. I am I feel that A is secure, so I'm not worried about pushing on those three to the southwest. So here's this other Nagato that's within six kilometers. That means if I can get around this island, I can definitely uh, get my secondaries to open up on him. So I pour on the speed and come around this island. Now, this Nagato is... he's just royally screwed. We have the other battleship coming around the other side of the island. We've got me on this side. I clear the barrels, switch over to HE, because I know I'm going into a tail chase against him. My secondaries open up. Here they start doing damage again. I love getting in close with this ship. The other Nagato, nice damage there. 
So there I hit him with HE, then I immediately switch over to AP, because I expect him... Well, either he's going to be low enough health where my AP will do it, or he's going to turn, in which case I want my AP loaded anyway. There's 17 hits on those secondaries. 19. And 21 with a close quarters expert kill on that Nagato. So here, I still think A is secured. Now I'm capturing B after I've already captured C. And this is where our aircraft carrier is complaining that three ships out of that big group that was in B got through. Even though we've got A, we've got C, we're capturing B, we're ahead on ships, we're ahead on points, we're winning. It's the one thing the one thing I don't like about uh, some players in World of Warships is we're winning. Take the win. Stop complaining. Until we lose, what are you complaining about? You got caught out. Learn from your mistakes, man. You shouldn't have waffled back and forth and then and then went the direction we clearly weren't going. If he were over by, by A, he probably would have been supported. So, we know that there's three ships up there. There's an Alba, there's the Nagato, and I think the Furious Taco is still out there. I'm not entirely sure. So here, I know they're going to go into sea. I can see the Nagato heading that way now. And I figure I can try to chase them around that island, which means I'm not going to... The island's going to be in the way the whole time. Or I could do this, the number one thing you are not supposed to do with a battleship on this map. And let's go through the state or the strait between those two islands on the EF line. And you're not supposed to do it when they see you coming. Yeah, there's the there's the Furious Taco. He spots me. The the Nagato and the Alba clearly can see where I'm going. So this quite possibly could not end well. I think this is where I finally tell the this uh, CV driver to, yeah. <laughs> we have all three capture points. Why more while winning? Come on, guy. Nice citadel hit. Put down that for, uh, for Ataka. And there's the Alba, and I can see that he's going to be coming around to see as well. So he knows where I'm going. The, the Nagato knows where I'm going. There's the Nagato entering C. So I know where he is, he knows where I am. More chatter in there where I basically say, but we're winning. <laughs> we're down one ship. We're up 300 points. Come on. So here I'm lining up my guns for when the Nagato is going to come around. I don't know if he's paused. If he was smart, he would have he would have paused just inside. That way he would have forced me to come around and show my broadside. But he didn't do that. So now he's heading into the straight. I'm coming out of the straight. I'm thinking maybe he's going to go for the ram, but then I start to turn in because I want to avoid him. And he starts to turn in, and this is what I know. He's coming for the ram. I don't have a torpedo solution on him. Bow on. My guns aren't going to do anything. So I'm going to go hard rudder to the right. And hope he misses. And... <laughs> Not today. Here comes the Alba. I know his torps might be on the way. So I turn hard. Uh, keep going hard to the right. Fire off my torpedoes. Get a Confederate award for my shots into him. While I'm getting my torps on to the Nagato. You'll see the torpedoes over there. I kill him with torpedoes. Nagato, there's the torpedoes. A double strike, crack it unleashed with the Sharnhorst using torpedoes. Awesome. Oh, I had to record this. Unfortunately now, I'm way out of place. Uh, a is being recapped, but all I can do is spin around and go right back through the straight. But with 950 points... And two of the capture points being ours, like I told the uh, the CB driver and, and the other guy, we're winning. Why 
wine. I I don't understand it. But yeah, that was just... Kids, don't do this at home. It was stupid. Pushing through sea was dubious, but coming back through the strait was... Yeah, just a little bit, a little bit off. Anyway, 142,000 damage, Kraken unleashed, close quarter, Confe uh, do I have Confederate in there? High caliber, at least, maybe two times off of torpedoes, off of a battleship. I love this ship. I love it. I don't think I'm going to have a, another match that is as good as this one until much later. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it today, and I'll catch you next time. Have fun.